Hi, I'm Cheryl, and today we're going to be replacing a capacitor in a Maytag refrigerator. You may need to replace your capacitor if your fridge stops running or if you don't hear the hum of the compressor. This repair should only take about 10 to 15 minutes. For this repair, we're only going to need two tools, a quarter inch nut driver, and a flathead screwdriver. If you don't already have a new capacitor, they are available for purchase on our website. Before repairing any appliance, always make sure it is completely disconnected from its power source. We will be working in the back of the refrigerator for this repair. We're going to need to remove the back panel. It's held in by quarter inch screws. So just go around and remove all those. You may just need to loosen the screws on the side, or you can remove them. We'll be able to remove the back panel, set that to the side. So here we have the capacitor and the start relay and overload. We're going to need to remove it from the compressor. In order to do that, we'll start by disconnecting the grounding wire, just to get that out of the way. And the assembly is connected to the compressor with a metal clip. We'll need to remove that. So you can take a small flat blade screwdriver and lift it off the hook. Might be tight. Lift it off. There you go. Once that's off, you can remove the assembly from the compressor. If it doesn't just pull straight off, you may need to use the flathead to help pry it off. Make sure you're pulling it off straight to not bend the tongs. There we go. Carefully remove that. So here we have the capacitor. In order to remove that, we just need to pull it apart from the start re and overload. If it's tight on there, you can always use the flathead to help pry that off. But you can discard your old one and grab your new one. All right, once you have your new capacitor, you're gonna line up the terminals and the hole for the shaft and just press it right back into place. And it's ready to go back on the compressor. Make sure to line up the holes on the start relay with the prongs on the compressor. You need to go straight on. Be very gentle with this as well. Make sure it's securely on there. Once that's on, you can Grab the metal clip. It's tight working space back in there, but you need to hook the bottom onto the frame below the compressor. And it needs to hook back onto the top hole and around the start capacitor. it into place and then just reconnect your grounding wire here we go and we're ready to put the back panel back on line up the back panel the bottom should go behind the metal frame 
Line up all the holes. Make sure all insulation is tucked in. I want to start by tucking the cardboard behind any screws you did not take out. And replace the screws. And tighten down any screws you didn't take out. And that's all there is to it. Here's a quick recap. All of our OEM parts and tools are available for purchase on our website. Check them out and let us know what you think on these social media sites.